Hello and welcome back to our French farmhouse renovation. This is Rebecca from thecopperkelt.com. I hope you had a really lovely Christmas and I wish you a very happy new year. So we've been working away in the house and most importantly in the kitchen and we've been focusing on the fireplace and the fireplace in this part of France is known as Le Contou and it's a, always a large fireplace like this and they're quite prominent because they were like the Swiss army knife of the kitchen. Le Contou served many purposes in the kitchen, um, besides providing light and heat, it was a place to cook, it was also a place where they kept the salt dry, and people would use the chimney to smoke meats, and the shelf over top is not just decorative, it was also used to dry out cheeses and plants. So I wanted to put some focus on our contour. I wanted to get it back to looking halfway decent. Initially I wanted to repaint the fireplace so I started off by giving it a really good clean to get rid of all the smoke and the soot damage. As I went on though these holes in the paint started to worry me and I started to doubt that I'd be able to disguise them with sanding alone. Once it was all clean and I could see more clearly what I was dealing with, I decided it would be better to strip off the paint entirely. I don't really like chemicals as a general rule, but I really thought this would be the quickest way to get through all those layers of paint. And also it was kind of handy to be able to get in and all the nooks and crannies on the corbeling and on the recesses of the wood. I was actually really disappointed with the uh, result of this paint stripper. It seemed to have just dissolved the first layer and I really thought it was going to be more aggressive than that. But I think it might have been to do with the temperature in the room, which was very cold. So I tried putting on another layer, putting it on really thick and uh, just hoping for the best and it did seem to dissolve it a little bit better after that but this was a really slow process. in the grooves was really the hardest part and despite having put loads of chemicals in the grooves it just really didn't seem to dissolve this paint very well. I don't know what kind of paint this is but it was really on there. After a while I was really curious, I just wanted to see what the wood looked like under there so I got out my battery powered sander which is not very effective at all just to clear off a little bit of the paint and get an idea of what kind of tone of wood I was dealing with. Here you can see the wood peeping through and initially when I saw this tone of wood I thought I really don't like this, I'm going to have to repaint the fireplace. So I started to put on some paint samples onto the front. Um, these ones are Dulux paint samples and the coverage is really, really good. I do like the idea of a blue-grey kitchen. So these colours here were really lovely, but not exactly what I'm looking for. So 
So after a while I got tired of the chemical paint stripper and I tried out the heat gun instead. And I did find that it had the same effect as the paint stripper, but with much less time. So here you can see the effect of the heat gun on the fireplace and just how tenacious this paint really is. I'm really going to have to do a lot of sanding. And speaking of creating dust, Nicola got into the fireplace to give it a good sweep because this house has not been lived in for about five or six years. So um, for safety, we needed to give it a good clean. Wait, wait, should have what? While the wood burner was out of the way, I decided to get cracking on chipping away at the old plaster that was falling off anyway. Um, and as I did it, I discovered that behind it was this lovely brickwork. So after that, I was sure that I wanted all the bricks to be um, visible. So I got cracking on trying to take off the, the rest of the plaster, which was, the plaster came away easily, but there was also um, what seemed to be a special sort of fire cement, and that was a little bit more difficult to remove. The previous owner had a plug installed right on the front of the fireplace, so I have to wait until the electrician removes that before I can continue to strip off the paint. And also the air that you see there, the glass installation, that has to be removed also before I can finish up with the fireplace. So this is where it's at for the moment. I've given it a clean out so that we can put the wood burner back in. But you can see there, there's a crack in the iron base, which we're going to have to look into how to repair that. I've since decided that this fireplace could look really lovely with just a simple paint wash to brighten up the tone of the wood. So rather than undoing all my hard work, I can get the best of both worlds by enjoying the raw wood with a lighter tone. As much as I would love to be able to show you the end result now, it's going to have to wait until a later video. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you the next time.